Do you think we can put him in the table or shall we do it down like last time? Yeah, I think. Just a day after the initial rescue, it was time for our shot injury swan to undergo life-saving surgery. Let's just put it over this one. With Penny, one of our vet nurses, carefully monitoring the bird's anesthesia, Maru set to work on what would be a very delicate oh. procedure. Why is gone? What is the pellet now? Please don't bleed anymore. Please, please, I beg you. A ver, found the pellet, but... Okay. Although the pellet lay just under the soft tissue, removing it was not an easy task. Mm -hmm. With so many vital blood vessels and but. nerves concentrated in such a small area, any wrong move risks serious or even permanent damage. Pellet out. Yeah, I think it's good, perfect. It looked like the eye. Pale it out. Finally. Quite heavy. Now that the pellet, that turned out to be a large ball bearing from a slingshot, was removed, the wound site had to be cleaned and debrided before being sutured closed. This would give the injury the best chance of recovery without the risk of major infection. We done. Huh? He's, he's very swollen, obviously, at the moment, uh, but I think he'll be fine. Right, well, this is the swan that came in, which had been shot in the eye by, with a ball bearing, which was horrible. Um, his head is up, he's doing very well, and now he's going to go up on the water to get a bit of rehabilitation up there. So we'll get you some greens, and it will be lovely. Right, swan. He's left me a present on my shoe. That's his disgust at being picked up. You're gonna go in the water. Go on then, fella, go on. Go on, there's a good boy, go on. Here's a good fella. How's that? You can have a proper wash. Yeah. Well, he's on the top one now. He can get himself a bit more rehabilitated. Then as soon as he's actually ready to go and we're happy, We'll probably take him to the swan sanctuary so he can be with other swans before he's released out because he's only got one eye and he needs to get used to that um, and hopefully he'll be absolutely fine. Right, now you're going to join lots of friends, swan. You should be very happy. Shouldn't you, huh? You should be very happy. Yeah! <laughs> Swans always recover better if surrounded by their own kind. And hopefully, this little one won't need to stay too long before being able to be Going with this one, is it? Cool. Look, lots of friends to be with. Go on, off you go. Go on, you can do it. Oh, look. They are, aren't they? Look at that. Oh, I love that. It's so beautiful. With the swan now enjoying the company of its own kind, it would just need a little more rehabilitation before being able to return to the wild. So basically, he's pooed all over me. Pooed all over you? Uh, even in my face, I got some poo. Lovely, lovely. Bit of poo. Very good news. Shall I, shall I grab him? Do you want to grab him? I'll grab him. Come on, Swan. We'll do it the hard way. Come on. Come on. Come on, feisty Swan. Although the Swan had been coping well since the initial rescue attempt, several members of the public had become concerned about a growing lump under his beak. And after being caught by a friend of the charity, Richard Simmons, he was quickly taken in for an x-ray. Right. So we can see we've got a big shot there on the side and a small shot underneath its chin. But I think we take some more x-rays now to make sure there aren't any more shots in the neck or anywhere else in the body. After surviving not just one, but two shots to the head, the swan had amazingly escaped further injury and was moved into a pen to recover. Right, so back indoors now, for now. We'll do all yeah. 
so he'll rest today. Uh, we'll confer with the specialist tomorrow, Neil, or tonight, um, and we'll probably go and remove at least that bottom shot tomorrow under anaesthetic. Um, whether we think we need to remove the other one as well, we will see. After discussing the risks with several avian experts, the decision was made to remove both pellets and early the next day our vet team set to work on the operation. Working together, two of our vets, Sally and Sarah, carefully removed both ball bearings before cleaning and closing the wound site. Once complete, the swan was moved back into one of our recovery pens to begin the first steps of a long recovery process. Left to right here. Oh, is this where we're going? Yeah. Just here? Yeah, probably You can go in here. This is where we all fall in the river together. Sit still. Wait for it, my fella. Woo! <laughs> I nearly went in myself. All right, come on, you've got to just hang about. We've got to get this all right. Go on. <laughs> well, it's obviously, I mean, he can come back here hasn't been here for what, well over a month. Yeah. And uh, he obviously said I'm home and then he saw two, two intruders in his home and saw them straight off. It's, really, it's, it's amazing that, he's that, in, you know, that instinct kicked in so quickly. Yeah. But I mean, it's been a long story for you because you had all the beginning trauma of all this, didn't you? Well, what was that like? I wouldn't say it was all that. No, there was a group of us that do photography down here. And um, somebody said that there's a swan. Actually, it was Sally, she's on the back it. Said there's been a swan that's been shot. And um, so we went down to Secrets, which is a garden centre just over the road there. We found two dead swans that had been shot um, and two more, one which was really poorly, which Laurie came down and we managed to grab, but we couldn't get this one, which sure. definitely had a, a mark on its head. But I mean, that's head, four right? swans, yeah. two yeah. dead, yeah. two have actually made it yeah. because of our, or your intervention and then yeah. our intervention. Yeah. 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 But I mean, yes, it's so, it's so time consuming. I mean, there's a lot of operations. We were consulting a lot of experts because the, the big, I mean, they're big, they're the size of my fingernail, the, the wow. sort of the pellets inside it. Um, and they had to come out and of course it had gone necrotic so that had to heal by second intention so it was a really slow process yeah no so, thank you guys nice stretch of river this is, is this the this way? way yeah it's part of the way if you like our videos please subscribe to our channel by pressing the red button and make sure you hit the bell to get notifications of our latest content if you want to help us save wildlife please donate every pound you give will help us to save more wildlife.